Right, Mathsville School. Just had to have a name like that, didn't it? Mathsville School offers the following sporting options or sports options. In term one, rugby or hockey. Term two, football or netball. And in term three, cricket or tennis or athletics. Right, so Roger is given one sport at random from those on offer each term. All right, he's given one sport from those on offer each term. Complete the table below to show all the possible outcomes. There we go. Term one, term two, and term three. He could do rugby term one, he could do football, and then cricket in term three. And there are the other combinations, okay? So when you get down to all the R's have been taken up, which is rugby, you go on to all the H's, right? And then fill in the table and there's your two marks, okay? Try and get your combinations right here. Then, state the probability that Roger's options contain netball, okay? So his options contain netball. Well, where are the ends? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many options? How many outcomes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 12 options. So 6 of the 12 gives me a half. It's not wrong to say 6 12, but we normally simplify it down to its simplest term. Right, now, state the probability that Roger's options contain rugby and athletics. Now, what are we going to look for? The initial R and A. Look, look along there and see if you can see any combination where rugby and athletics features. Now what I've done here is I've taken an asterisk and I've put it there alongside where I found the only two combinations that had an R and an A in it. Okay, so again it was one option, two options out of 12. And there again I simplify it down to one sixth. Last question, neither cricket nor hockey, okay, state the probability that Roger's options contain neither cricket nor hockey, okay? So, it's not allowed to have cricket, not allowed to have hockey. And look what I've done, a little circle in red, and I found all of the places where there was no cricket or hockey, okay? So in this case it was four out of the 12, and when I simplify four over 12, it is a third.